There's a lot of men. You have a lot of people in your country. Your your ma your nation is uh is quite mighty. My main export is soldiers. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Very true. It'd be funny if that was actually something you could sell. I would really like being able to do that. Historically, you historically that happened. Uh, to an extent. Like, there were a couple big examples, like Switzerland, but otherwise, you know, usually when troops were recruited from other countries, it was at for by the, you know, by force. Yeah. Like, Prussian recruiters would famously wander Germany and find really tall guys and force them to join the Grenadiers. Yep, the, uh, Fredericks, yep. Yep. Usually without the consent, never mind knowledge of the host country yeah <laughs> there, there were stealing their troops <laughs> there were german troops uh on the british side during the revolution yes from hanover and hess yes i like how you have 22 stashes sitting on the border no oh, they're sieging on my border Oh, your border? Yeah, you have four, actually. Yeah, those were supposed to get there, but apparently they got busy. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing, Moldavia? How do you have 10,000 peasant rebels? Stupid-ass country. They're dumb. Just get rid They're of them. They're western. They are western. Just get rid of them. Just absorb yeah. them. I probably will after this battle. War. Yeah, this, this singular battle that we're doing right now. Yeah. I'm debating if I want to take land from France. I do have a merchant active in the Genoa trade node, so I could totally be a douche and take Provence. Yeah. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. I like how Tunis has survived this entire time. Oh yeah, they're western too. They did westernize. They're blobby now. What the hell is going on in Africa? I don't know. Kenem Bornu. Oh, yeah, never they're seen huge. That big. They are huge. Are they even like a state in the start of the game? Uh, yes, they are. I know Kenem is. I don't know if Kenem Bornu is. I'm pretty sure it's, it's. I think it is. I don't know. I rarely ever looked at Africa as well. Wow, that's racist. It is. It is racist. <laughs> you, you know me. I live in Arizona. Yeah. Accidental racism. No, it's intentional. <laughs> I can't even imagine that you have many non-whites in Arizona. There's a ton of, ton well, of non-whites in Arizona. Well, I guess the native Native Americans you got the giant reserve. And we have more than one reserve. Don't you have a reserve in a reserve? Uh, there are several. Weird ass state. But I mean, we have. Oh yeah, you got the, all the Hispanics. Yeah, I'd say we we're on the border of Mexico, so yeah, we have a ton <laughs> of non-whites. Not a oh, lot of God. not a lot of African Americans or Asians, but there are some. Mm. But I I think whites are the most populous, then na then Hispanic, and those are more or less tied than native. As someone who comes from a state of either white people or black people, it's really hard for me to imagine non-whites as being anything but blacks. It's yeah. Terrible, I know. But uh fucking Delaware, man. The, that's the that's the makeup. It doesn't it doesn't surprise me at all. That's how the that's how the east is. That's how Ohio is. Yeah, it's you, you really don't have any ethnic minorities besides blacks. Ohio has a lot of Vietnamese and Korean. Really? Yeah. Hmm. But I mean, if if you if you want to get real, it's like, okay, what? Who lives in Columbus? White people or black people? That's about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you always have those one or two. Well, I shouldn't say one or two, but you always have a couple exceptions on like the individual or family level. Mm -hmm. But if you paint with a big brush, it's pretty much either white or black, north yep. of the Mason-Dixon line. Pretty much. I like how France still has that giant fucking fleet just sitting off the coast of Genoa. 
They're assholes. Yeah. Ming still. Apparently... Ming is back to eighty-five thousand troops. Are they really? They are. Jesus. With fourteen mercenaries, I like how Austria has fifty-four mercenary regiments. That is truly ridiculous. Also, Venice can eat a dick. Why? 46% fort defense. Oh. That's after my minus 25% is applied. It's ridiculous that I'm at minus one, even though I've taken a ton of their land. Oh, your war score? Yeah, my war score is minus one. It's mine too, but it's because we don't have Venice. It's true. And they're still at medium. Which is stupid. Yeah. Even France is at medium. France should definitely not be at medium. <laughs> yeah, Austria got pretty big. No, they didn't. Austria's kind of tiny, honestly. They were a lot tinier, like, 50 years ago. Yeah, oh, wow, well. Russia's, Russia's actually pushing into Europe. They took Pomerania. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Yeah. I'd say they're a, a tier 2 power at this point. Yeah, although I can't help but feel that the Holy Roman Empire is more of a liability for them than anything else. It is a big liability. Historically, if the Holy Roman Empire declared... I mean, technically, I'm part of the Holy Roman Empire. I'm definitely the largest in the Holy Roman Empire. I should be the, the emperor by merit of size alone. Well, you can't be, because you're a stupid republic. That, too. And I'm also, also not uh, Catholic. Yeah. There's that. It's cool that Spain almost has its historical borders, though. Yeah. I don't know why Navarra is still independent, though. I don't understand it. They're allied with Spain. Yeah, you think Spain would just be like, be my vassal. You would think so. That, that, by the way, is my impersonation of Spanish people. Oh, well, now that we've pissed off all the Spanish people. <laughs> yeah, that, that amazing, complete lack of attempt at an accent. Just the effect in a lisp. <laughs> Why? Because that their their American accent is very lispy. Uh, I don't know. If you want to piss off the French people, you can just make fun of how they can't pronounce an H. <laughs> I would love. I love making fun of the French. <laughs> yeah. The cheese loving surrender monkeys. The baguette kings. Yes. Anyone who plays EU4 knows of the baguettes and the, the uh, oh, what do they call turkey? The kebab. The kebab, yeah. Yeah, over in Germany, they basically, the has a huge population of Turkish migrants. And Austria, and, uh, too. Both of them. Yeah, they have this, uh, this dish that's basically like a kebab in what's almost like a tortilla roll yeah the donor yeah yep it's amazing it is i love donor it's like a, a euro very similar it... yeah yeah well i mean a euro is greek and the, the donor is turkish well i mean they are right next to each other yeah that's what i was yeah totally that's what i was saying they're they're definitely they're inspired by one another for sure well it's kind of funny that austria peaced out they did peace not, out i'm not sure what that happened doesn't nothing. look like anybody lost anything nothing happened england lost a province i think scotland the scotland yeah they took one province they took maith and um cumbria okay they took two no, they already oh, had no, they, they, they already had Mace? I don't know. Maybe they lost them and retook them out. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on over there. 
Oh, I'm coming in helping fight uh, France. Sorry, France, we we were friends for so long, but uh, you were allied to the wrong people. <laughs> That's what you get for protecting Venice. Yep, pretty much. Also, I have a major historic beef to pick with uh, Venice. So. You do? Oh, yeah. I'm Byzantium Oh, now, yeah, man. you're right. You are totally correct. Well, I have major historical beef with, with Venice as well. Oh, really? Insofar over as... Over Treviso? Yeah, over Treviso, yeah. Your once and future core? Yes. Okay, this, this Venetian siege thing is getting a little out of hand. It's taken a long time for you to siege that down, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm just gonna... You know, muster up some mercenaries and throw them at the walls. See what happens. See what sticks. I say go for it. We could probably piece France out. Oh, I'm sure we could. You don't want to, because you want land. France would totally just back off. They would give me Provence or Nice, but not both. I want both. And you want both. Well, that just means we have to keep punching them in the goddamn face. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much what it means. And then we go back to war with Ming. Poor fucking Ming. I'd actually really like to see them go away. See if we can full annex them by the end of the game? I want to see if we can do that. I think that that should be our, our end goal. Eh, I think that's a little easy, but okay. Well, I don't think we're going to full annex um, anyone else. Seems this unlikely. This is almost certainly true. Yeah. Select army. No, that's not what I want. Siege view. Assault! They had 4,700 at the beginning. Now they have 2,900. Nice. All the mercenary regiments disappeared. Because they all died. Yep, because they all died. Poor mercenaries. You feel you do sound very tore up about it. Oh, mercenaries, we hardly knew you. Another dead, another six thousand dead Frenchmen because that's just how things work here. In the Byzantine Empire. Fuck, fuck France. <laughs> Someone's gonna listen to that and think you actually hate France. I know. I don't. And I don't hate. I, I shouldn't say I don't hate anybody, but I hate very few people. Well, there's another sixteen thousand dead Frenchmen. Does that make you feel better? It does. There goes eleven thousand. I like how Brittany is at eighteen war exhaustion, and they have high enthusiasm. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but okay. It's not about logic. No. Most definitely isn't. France has so many ships in the Mediterranean, man. It's easily, like, I don't know. They're not very happy with you. 300, maybe more. They're not happy with you. I don't know what you did to piss off France. Other than, you know, declare a, a gigantic war against them. Occupy the southern half of their country? Yeah. While simultaneously capturing their capital? Yeah. Their 18 base tax capital? Jesus Christ. It's the most valuable province in the entire game. Ile de France is? Yeah, probably. Not London? I think London would be with trade, but in terms of just what's produced there, it's definitely Ile de France.
they're not even close to the same number. No. In terms of direct cash, Ile de France is worth 17 more a year. That's insane. Yeah. Although you gotta figure out how much is 30 trade power worth in the English Channel. Oh hell if I know. Where the total trade power there is like 500. Yeah. I'm just going through and killing all of France's little one stack armies like they usually do to me. <laughs> I can't be bothered to run them down. They're, they're just standing there. I'm, li I'm literally. It took a thousand days, but we did it. I'm literally moving. Th oh, yeah. Yeah, we totally did. Ow. I just think I'm a fleet. GTFO. I lost 36, uh. Whatchamacallits. Oh god, we're getting a call for peace. Of course we are. Alright, France, will you give me what I want? Yes, you will. Will you give me anything else? Probably not. It's unlikely. <laughs> I could demand 10,000 gold. And they'd give it to you? Fuck no, it's 100% more score. Oh god. But they have 10,000 gold. I don't know, but they just gave me 900. That's pretty good. I actually want to look up what their, uh... You know... Yeah. Treasury is. Let's see, it should be in country. They have 20,000 gold. Just in the treasury, just sitting there. That's retarded. That is truly insane. Ming has 74,000 men. Oh no. But they moved their capital from uh, Beijing. Oh, didn't they? Yeah. Yay for you. Yeah, whenever that next war happens. All right. Let's see what we can get out of this war. I have 40 AE with France and 39 with Austria. That's funny. Let's see who else we can piss off. You wanted Treviso and Ancona. Yeah. And I would take Verona and Ferrara, but we'll probably have to do that in another war. Probably. Uh, I accidentally gave you Ferenzi. <laughs> Do you want me to see that back to you? Um, yeah. There you go. What would that cost? You know what, Pisa? You're so awesome. You get Forensi. No, that's so nice of you. You're going to eat them in like... I'm still going to take another like 40 aggressive expansion from that. Yeah. <laughs> it's... It's unlikely that someone is going to form a military coalition against either of us at this point in the game. Yeah. Actually... Eh, no. Nah. And if they did, they'd be in a lot of trouble. Wow. Imperial Reconquest! You got the Imperial Reconquest? I did! Oh, oh whoa! Who? When taking Treviso. Oh. Well, thank you. Now my land is completely uh, joined. Contiguous. Contiguous, and I am I am very happy with that. Of course, I do expect Venice in the next war. You totally get Venice. It shouldn't be too long because uh, they do not have an alliance with France anymore. They're fucked. Yep. Although I now have minus 68 aggressive expansion with Austria. I have minus 85 with Austria. Ah. What do I have with Bohemia? Minus 62. Thuringia. Loves me to death. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny, actually. 
And um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the little... Did you break up land in France? Like oh. Liège and Trier? No, that must have been Austria. The um, Imperial Conquest CB lets you force countries to release other countries for free. Ah. Uh, that's cool. Yes, it is. Oh. Demand unlawful territory. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, guys. That, Whatever. That's, that's really fucking funny. Yeah. I'm just gonna declare war on uh, Hejaz so I don't have to deal with this. That's funny. <laughs> I now that's have too few rivals. Oh, look, I can take Ming as a rival. Oh, good for you. I do want to declare war on them. Yeah. Yeah, but after I get this. 93% overextension out of the way. <laughs> 93%? What, with with just Ancona, Ferrara, Treviso, and Welks, Baron. That's that's a lot. It is. You gave me a lot of land. I appreciate that. Who is? Yes, I did give you a you lot. You gave of me land. a lot of land out of that. That was that was quite uh, quite stunning. I'm surprised you actually could manage it. Oh, I had enough war score to probably full the next Venice. Oh gee, that would have been a lot of you would you would have definitely been overextended to a point where you were would be unhappy. Yeah, plus uh, the AE would have been genuinely insane. Yeah, but people would still probably not form a military coalition. No, but. Thuringia just asked me into a war with Hess, Brandenburg, Oldenburg, Ulm, and the Hansa. I'll say yes. I'm not going to help them or anything like that. I am the only the third most powerful trading partner in Genoa. That's crazy. Yeah. How are you? How are you doing in the Venice trade node? Mm, fifth. <laughs> and I'm number two. I I have no territory in the node. You will when you get Venice. Yeah, that'll give me apparently 220 or some shit. Actually, trade power 127. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Yeah, you you and I will definitely be competing. But I really don't make much money from trade, so it's not like it really matters. Uh, the Timurids attacked me in Khuzestan. Are you at war with them? Yeah. Oh, because of, um... Hejaz. Hejaz. I just thought it was weird that they attacked me. They're ballsy, what can I say? Like, how badly do you fuckers want to die? Yeah. We're important. Just get out no, of here. Not. Get out of here. Shut up. Just, just shut up. <laughs> they've, they've, I mean, we've, you and I together have literally been just, like, slowly pushing them west, and they've just been take. oh, wow, really? What'd you do this time? Just stupid fucking. I have twenty angry peasants in Treviso. Good job. Out of nowhere. Well, they're dead now. Oh, thank you. Then I got eight in fucking Minglisk. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Mangishlock? Yeah. I don't know. That's a rough one. So how do you fucking force march? It's a button on the unit. Where on the unit? If you have the the regiment or the army's big tab up, it's the boot button on the right side. Yeah, I know what the symbol looks like, but I don't see it. It's where it's always been. Just oh, press I see. M. I see. Oh, M is force march. Yeah. Okay, I see. It was just it was grayed out because I was moving. Yeah, that'll do it. You have to stop to toggle it on. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the Timurids feel stupid for attacking me. And when the hell did Persia take a? Uh... Kuhistan and Quran from Baluchistan. I have no idea. This game is just weird. 
The, the game, we, we, have, we have collectively fucked this game. Yeah. France is outraged with me. They're rival with me. Yeah. They, they can't possibly be outraged, considering how easily they got off in that last war. They really shouldn't be. They are outraged. Yeah. Babby's first outrage. Yeah, that was the that was their first and only major setback in any war they've ever fucking been in. Oh, poor poor Timurid armies. They're gonna just get massacred in Kandahar. Which continues to be the graveyard of empires. Yep. Just keep uh keep digging their graves. Yep. If I were Ming, I'd be really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Ming was uncomfortable about six wars ago. You want to declare war on them? Oh, I gotta deal with the Jaws first. Yeah. And then yes. Alright. I'll hold off until then. You could probably be fine on your own. Oh no, I'm de I would definitely, definitely be fine on my own. I would not have a problem. But we might as well go in together separately. Yeah, probably. Because we both want stuff out of them, and we both want different things. I don't even know what I want out of Ming anymore. I kind of have what I want. Yeah, S start taking the interior. I guess. Or go after the dive yet. <laughs> Poor Vietnamese. They're always in trouble with somebody. Yeah. Always some empire or other that wants their land. Yeah. I'm still, like, 93% overextended, so I, I'm i not going to declare war on Ming yet. Oh, smooth. I want to, though. I'm waiting till the rest of my army gets here so that I can go in full force. They still have, they have a ton of men. They have 74... Ring? Yeah, they have 74,000 men. Eh. I got more troops and... You know, the... The Byzantine China company. Yeah, but you also have, like, almost 100,000 men. 768,000. Yeah, and your force limit is 877. <laughs> Which is yeah. which is larger than the three next largest powers combined. Well, to be fair, usually the gap is much bigger than that. For you, yes. <laughs> yeah. By, by, you know, 1780, I'm ludicrously more powerful than everyone else in the map. I'm not confident with my power. Poor Vasa. Insufficiently epic. I could probably go after Russia on my own. <laughs> I hope so. They have a lot of men. You have 290,000. They have 150,000. Do they really? I thought they had more than yeah. that. Nope, they do not. Yeah, outnumber them 2 to 1. Yes, I do. I would still manage to lose that war. I probably wouldn't. Wow, Thuringia, I probably shouldn't have joined this war. You are fucked. <laughs> France has 511 manpower. That's awesome. Spanish Brazil has zero. What the fuck are they doing? Losing. Or being me a hundred years ago. Actually, they're, they're not losing. They're actually beating La Plata. They just have no manpower. Just kind of odd. My brother-in-law wants to play EU4. Oh boy. He has never played before. He ha <laughs> he has it though. He's never played before, huh? He has never played. I got it for I got it for him for Christmas though. 
Did you tell him you were too busy recording? Yeah, I did. So in these recordings, you'll hear Skype blooping, but oh, okay. uh, it's all good. He didn't want to play now. He, just, he was just like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I'm doing EU4 multiplayer. He's like, why haven't we done that yet? I'm like, because you're nine hours ahead and always busy. He's like, yeah, that's true. I'm like, yep, that's that's the reason. That's a pretty good reason to not do something. He's a teacher. Hmm. He teaches game design in college. That's certainly an interesting thing to teach. It's mostly because uh, he doesn't want to go into uh, game design like as an indie company. There's not a lot of them over there. He could always, you know, sleep on Mike Bethel's couch. Yes. <laughs> Haven't played you know, any of his games, but I'm looking forward to his next one. You know, despite everything I've conquered from the Timurids, they would not give me a single province, and they would not even accept white peace. They're they're assholes. You have like them almost how... 100% sieged. Yeah, I, I've got a. What's my war score with them? 41%. Yep. Bender's first regiment. <laughs> Do you name your regiments? No, that was just um, from annexing Moldavia. I see. They have a province called Bender. Right. So I was immediately thinking Futurama. Yes, as you do, as you should. Yes. Well, Nice and Provence are now cored. Good. So, no more Imperial Territory bullshit. Oh, well, the fact that he admitted power. Okay. I, I should take all of my territory out of the HRE just to piss Austria off. That'd be hilarious. I, I should, only have a couple problems. I should know. just leave the HRE. <laughs> just leave? Yeah, okay. You get the Imperial Integrity modifier, which is overpowered as shit. Yeah. Minus three national unrest. Come on. Yeah, definitely helps. I would, I'm not leaving. It would cost me 62 diplomatic power to take one province from Timurids. That's retarded. Yes, it is. Somehow I lost my coring effort on Treviso when I got those rebels. I did not know it did that. I... it shouldn't. I'm pretty... They didn't capture it. They didn't capture it. I don't know what happened. I definitely had Treviso being cored. I have no idea. Nope. No idea. Well, Cardell. I'm really sorry about what's about to transpire here. Oh, I completely forgot about Socotra. Socotra? Yeah. Hijazi territory. Ah. Uh, that little island. Right, that no one ever remembers. Yeah. It's kind of dumb that I have to go land troops there to capture it. Mm hmm. And Persia reformed. Oh. Yeah, out of Baluchistan. Yeah. They're allied with Gujarat. But good for them. Yeah, good for them. Poor Gujarat. Are they poor? Well, they're pretty. They were pretty big for a while. Yeah, and then I happened. Yep. And then Bahamanis happened. Well, I only took like three provinces from. 
I only took one to begin with, but then they kept fighting me, so I took two more. 